really feeling connected to the base beneath you. And taking a brief body scan from the top of the head down towards the toes now. So noticing the body part by part. Like a wave of relaxation, floating all the way down towards the toes. And notice any, anything that's going on in the body or mind. In the body at this moment, just notice any niggles, any areas of resistance. And imagine sending the breath to these areas like a wash of water. Imagine the energy flowing down, clearing any blockages, any tension, carrying it away like a stream of water. Fluid breath as you breathe, just imagine washing away tension from the body. All the way down, moving that intention down towards the toes. And then bringing the attention towards your breath. So noticing the inhalation, exhalation, noticing where in the body you feel the breath most predominantly. So maybe in the belly, maybe in the chest, maybe even in the nostrils. Noticing that journey of breath. Notice if the breath is moving into the belly or the chest. Maybe just placing right hand on your belly, left hand on your heart. You may begin to feel the journey of the breath. So notice the sensation of the breath in the body now. As you breathe in, maybe noticing the belly rising, feeling that right hand rising. And as you breathe out, noticing the breath falling as the belly draws in and the breath flows out from your nostrils. So maybe visualizing now that journey of breath, like you're breathing in an ocean of air. So take a nice deep breath in, breathe in that ocean, down the waterfall in your throat, expanding the breath towards a lake in your belly. So feel the belly rising. And as you breathe out, let it go from the lake in your belly, waterfall in your throat, back out to that ocean of air. Do this a few times, gently expanding the breath in towards the abdominal area, the abdominal breath. Just coming back to a natural breath now, we're going to come into a Ujjayi breath. So you can begin this one when you're ready or if you wish to, following me. So we can bring the hands, so just maybe the right hand in front of the face, breathing in through the nose. As you breathe out, you can breathe as though you're breathing into a pane of glass in front of you. So you're breathing almost from the back of the neck. And I'd like you to bring the hand back down towards the belly. Breathe it in through the nose, and as you breathe out with that same intention of breath, so close your mouth and breathe out through the back of your throat once again. So you're almost making that Darth Vader sound. It's as though you've created gills at the side of your throat. This is the Ujjayi breath. It helps to filter out negative energies, Helps to draw more oxygenated blood into the body, detoxifying the body, and bringing yourself a little more energy. So you can use either breath, abdominal breath, or this Ujjayi breath, any time throughout your practice. And then when you're ready, just return into that natural breath. Dropping your head ever so slightly to the left now. 
imagining any thoughts of the mind now just pouring down from the left ear into the heart space. So imagining you're releasing like heavy boulders, you're releasing blocks or heavy rocks, ra rocks, <laughs> racks, rocks that you're carrying in a rucksack. Just imagine you're relieving yourself of any burdens, placing them down one by one in the heart space as you breathe. Letting go any troubles, any concerns, anything that you're holding on to. Just release it now. And maybe planting a seed, a positive intention, maybe of self-love, loving kindness, a bit of kind intention towards yourself today, whatever you need. Maybe love. Maybe positivity, maybe acceptance. Just plant it down into your heart space now, like a little seed of positivity. And we'll leave that seed there as we bring the head back to centre. When you're ready, bring the palms of the hands to the heart space. We're going to rub the palms, make them nice and warm. And place them now over the closed eyes, shoulders down. Opening your eyes in darkness when you're ready. And just allow the hands to melt down away from the face, opening your eyes in your own time. Wonderful, guys. So interlocking the fingers, turning the palms away. We're going to float the arms up and over the head, shoulders back and down, slight bend in the elbows. Breathing there. And we can begin to rotate the wrists away from the body, like dancing wrists as you come down. And we'll do the same again. So interlock the fingers, do whatever you do naturally, and then swap them over, turn the palms away. Arms come up and over, slight bend in the elbows, drop the shoulders down the spine. This time we'll shake the hands out. Happy hands, get the prana moving all the way down and then back up. Lovely. We're going to take the arms up and float the hands down, opposite hand to opposite knee into a twist. So back hand behind you. Bring the heel of the hand right in towards your bottom so that you feel a length through the spine. Keeping the hand upon the knee, we're going to take the back hand up and over in line with the ear into a side stretch. Tuck the chin in slightly towards the chest so there's no stress in the neck. And then come back to centre, floating both arms up, twisting over the other side, opposite hand to knee, lengthen through the spine. So really just the pads of the fingers resting down upon the ground. So give yourself that bit of length through the spine. But try not to over twist that neck, just keep the neck in line with the spine. Keeping the hand upon the knee, take the back hand up and over in line with the ear. Wonderful guys, coming back to centre. We're going to cross, the, change the cross of the legs if you have the legs crossed. Taking the hands upon the knees, we're going to take a few circles with the body. So moving forwards and backwards, rocking forwards, rocking backwards, rounding through the spine as you come back, opening up the heart space as you come forward. Lovely, and changing directions of your circles. Wonderful guys, when you're ready, coming down towards your mat, so releasing from any supports that you have, coming to lie on your backs, <clears throat> making the body nice and long, take the arms overhead, floating the arms over, lengthen and stretch, really enjoy that wonderful sensation as though someone's pulling you at your fingertips and your toes, maybe giving your toes and your fingers a little wriggle, lengthen and stretch as far as you can, make your body as long as you can, breathing in, as you breathe out just let go, as though a piece of elastic someone's just pinged and let go of the elastic, 
keeping your arms over your head, breathing in to lengthen and stretch. Make the body as long as you can and let go. Just drop the jaw, sighing through the mouth, breathing in through the nose, breathing out. One more time. Lovely, so continuing to move with the breath now, we're gonna circle wrists and ankles, bring the feet a little further apart. We're gonna breathe in to lengthen and stretch. As you breathe out, flex the feet and draw the arms down towards your sides. So palms facing the ground, so you're pushing the breath out with the hands as the feet are flexed. Breathing in, point the toes, float the arms overhead as though you're drawing air into a container for your body. Breathing in, breathing out, releasing, flexing, pushing the breath. Imagine yourself breathing in positive energy, new light, new space, new energy. As you breathe out, pushing out any unwanted energy, any stagnant energy, letting it go, breathing it away, breathing it down into the earth. Lovely, floating the arms overhead. This time we're gonna come into our banana posture. So shuffle your feet over to the left, upper body over to the left, maybe taking hold of opposite wrists or elbows, keeping both hips down towards the ground or just draping the arms overhead. Breathing there. Breathing light and space in towards the right side of the body. When you're ready, doing the same on the other side, shuffling the feet over to the opposite corner of the body as well. Wonderful guys, coming back to centre. So this time we're going to lengthen as we breathe in. As we breathe out, we're going to just draw the right knee in towards your chest. So hugging the right knee in, circling the right foot. And then breathing in, lengthen and stretch both arms and legs. Breathing out, doing the same on the left side, drawing your left knee in and rotating the left ankle. Breathing in, float the arms overhead. Breathing out, right knee comes in. If you wish to, you can draw the nose towards the knee. And lengthen and stretch. And this time, left knee comes in, drawing the nose towards the knee once again. Breathing in to lengthen and stretch. Drawing the right knee in. If you wish to, this time, to take a stage further, you can hover the left leg away from the ground. As you draw the nose towards the knee, or just take it down a level if it feels too much. Lengthen and stretch, float the arms overhead. Do the same on the left side when you're ready. One more time on either side. Lovely, taking the time, there's no rush. And then releasing back down, wonderful. Hugging both knees now in towards the chest, hugging the knees in and taking a gentle rock from side to side. Taking the hands upon the knees, drawing circles with the knees, massaging out the lower back and spine and the sacroiliac area. Changing directions when you're ready. 
And then with the toes together, we're going to draw circles in opposite directions now to one another. Breathing in half circle maybe, breathing out half circle. So there's no rush. Nowhere else you need to be. There's nothing else you need to do in this present moment. So really just bring your attention to your breath, to your body. Indulge in this time just for you today. Lovely guys, changing the direction of the knees when you're ready. Wonderful guys, we're going to come into a half happy baby today. So I'd like you to place the left foot down and just take hold of the right shin. And if you wish to, you can take hold of the outer edge of that right foot or wrap your first two fingers around the right big toe. So just do whatever feels available to you. So just making sure that your right knee is bent and that your foot is facing up towards the ceiling. And then just allowing that left knee to fall out to the side. You might want to place your left hand on your belly. So allow that left knee to act as a bit of an anchor so that your right hip can begin to unfurl and begin to open. Keep your shoulders soft. few deep breaths here, maybe in through the nose, sighing out through the mouth. We tend to carry a lot of our emotional tension in our hips. So by taking a nice deep out breath through the mouth as an antidote to pain or stress or emotional tension, it really allows us to let go of this emotional stress or emotional tension in the body. Maybe just saying to yourself, I let go as you breathe out. One more nice deep breath. Wonderful guys, slowly, slowly floating the foot back down, bring the feet as wide as your mat and just swoosh the knees from side to side. So allow your knees just to drop one side to the other. And when you're ready, we'll do the same on the left side. So keeping the feet nice and wide, bending now that left knee in towards you, taking hold of the shin, the foot, the toe, whatever feels good for you and just allow the right knee to just begin to fall out to the side as your anchor placing right hand on the belly and again just breathe breathing in through the nose sighing out through the mouth I let go. One final deep breath. Wonderful guys, when you're ready, lowering that foot down swooshing the knees from side to side, maybe taking the arms in a cactus position, so bending at the elbows, palms facing up or resting the hands beside you is fine. Just swooshing the knees one side to the other. And 
Wonderful. We'll come into a full happy baby now. So take the arms, elbows towards the instep of the knees, grabbing hold of the shins, ankles, feet or toes, and just breathe there. Think of drawing the tailbone down towards the ground as you lengthen through the spine. And then just let go. Saying to yourself, I let go with every exhalation. Wonderful guys, when you're ready, slowly, slowly draw the feet in towards one another. Grabbing hold of the knees, giving yourselves a hug and a rock from side to side. Placing the feet down now in line with your, in line with your bottom, in line with your hips. Turning the palms down now, we're going to move through the spine in towards a bridge. But before we do, we're just going to take a few rock and rolls through the hips. So imagine your hips like a warm bowl of water. And imagine that warm bowl of water moving forwards and towards you and away from you as you breathe. So breathing in, think of bringing that bowl in towards you as you breathe out, releasing, tipping the bowl out. So if it helps, you might want to place a block between the knees so that the knees don't fall out to the side or collapse in. But that's not necessary, it's completely up to you. We're going to place the palms of the hands down now beside us and we're just going to keep that rocking motion like your hips are like a boat swishing forwards and backwards and we're going to build the momentum up and with each breath we're going to move the hips a little further up so you may find that your hips are floating away from the ground just a little bit and then the hips float back down so imagine you're building up momentum like waves in the ocean and your hips being like a boat swishing up, lifting like a basin and then floating back down. And we're going to move the hips a little further up, lifting a couple more vertebrae away from the ground each time and then lowering back down, tipping the bowl of water away. So moving in your own time with your own breath, flowing with the breath lifting the hips a little further up and then floating them back down. So you may find that the hips come all the way up now so that you're lifting the hips. Only come up as far as is comfortable. So you can press the palms down underneath the body or you can interlock the fingers underneath the body. Try not to move the head or neck here. This can really compress the neck. So draw the chin in towards the chest, raise your hips up, trust yourself, opening the heart space and just breathe. When you're ready, release the hands, release the spine, slowly and mindfully, vertebra by vertebra, all the way back down. When you're ready, hug the knees back in towards the chest. Pushing, rocking from side to side. So bringing the feet down now, we're going to bring the hands behind the head, moving into a few core strength exercises. So in fact, let's start with the hands beside the body. Breathing in, feel that natural arch in the spine. As you breathe out, begin to engage your pelvic floor muscles and your lower tummy muscles, as though someone's just dropped an ice cube on your lower belly. So try and keep the shoulders and the upper body relaxed as you do this. So breathing in, feel the natural arch in the spine. As you breathe out, begin to engage, pressing down. Use that ujjayi breath in the throat to help to energize, drawing that energy back in towards the body as though you're stoking a fire, you're igniting that digestive fire in the belly. This is called the agni, your digestive area within the body. And you may wish to imagine like a, a warm sunshine or a flame, a flickering fire in towards that solar plexus area where we draw our personal energy in, our inner confidence, our inner sense of identity. 
igniting, enjoying that warm sunshine. Taking the hands behind the head now, interlocking the fingers, breathing in, continuing to relax the spine here. As you breathe out now, begin to engage pelvic floor and lower tummy. We're going to raise the head up, looking towards the space between the thighs. Keep the elbows relaxed and then breathing out. Breathing in to prepare. Breathing out as you lift and engage. And breathing out, wonderful guys. Moving your own time with your own breath. Wonderful. Lowering back down, this time raising the feet away from the ground and come into our position here. So raising the head up, we'll come into our toe taps. So tapping the right toes down towards the ground and back to center, and then the left toes down. So making sure that you're keeping that area of the tummy engaged and that the knee comes back to that neutral position. So you're keeping that nice flat back as you engage the tummy muscles, keeping your head supported. If it's not doing enough for you, then good for you. <laughs> but tapping the toes a little further away from the body if you want a bit more of a challenge, but just be very mindful here not to stress or strain the lower back or spine. And then if you wish to, we can move into the oblique. So drawing the opposite elbow to opposite knee. So as your knee comes back to center, you can draw your knee or your elbow towards your knee and not the other way around. Laterally strengthening the muscles now. Keep breathing there. Only do as many as feels right for you. If it's too much at any point, draw the knees in towards the chest. Keep breathing. And when you're ready, hug the knees in. Relax back down. Maybe a few deep breaths here. Wonderful guys, we're going to roll onto our sides, moving into our side stretches. So if there's any issues with your hips, you can take a rolled up blanket under the hips. So resting on one side, just pulsing, flexing both feet, drawing the top foot up and back down. If you can keep the lower foot down onto the ground, the knee bent if you feel a bit wobbly, but if not, you can just hover that foot away. And then making circles with that top foot. Keep breathing, moving one direction then the other. And then keep that foot hovered. We're just going to kick that heel back behind you as though you're turning on that positive light switch in your day or a week ahead. Lovely. Lowering the heels together. Bend at the knees. Tap the top hip and glute. Rubbing and tapping there. Well done, guys. And then with the heels together, we're going to come into our clam posture. So drawing the knee up and back down. So again, if you want to increase the stretch, you can always use that resistance band between the thighs, around the thighs. as an option for you if you want to take it a stage further. Lovely. Lowering down, rubbing and tap the top hip. Drawing the knees back behind you now. I'm going to take that top leg up, so you might just want to grab hold of the leg, the big toes, do what feels good for you. Flex that foot and just breathe. Lovely guys, bend at the knees, sweep that foot back behind you. Draw the knees together, you can grab hold of the toes still, or just release the arms all together. 
and just breathe. Wonderful guys. We'll do the same on the other side when you're ready. So you can just flip yourselves over. And again, so you've got every jitter on either side, flexing the feet. Begin to pulse that top foot up and back down in time of the breath. So every did on the other side. Just breathing, taking your time. And then circling that top foot. One direction, then the other. And then kicking up and back, turning on that positive energy, positive light switch for your day or week ahead. Wonderful guys, bending at the knees, rub and tap that top hip, heels together into our clown posture now, drawing the knee up and back down in time of the breath. Well done guys, when you're ready, rub and tap once again and then shuffle those knees back, drawing that top leg up again, grabbing hold of the leg, the big toe, whatever feels good for you today, wherever you can reach, so that bend of the knees is fine, keep that lower knee nice and bent to create that anchor, that stability and just breathe. Wonderful, bend at the knees, sweep that foot behind you, knees together, open out through the hips and really stick your hips forward this time. Nice back stretch. And then we're going to roll onto our bellies into sphinx posture. So elbows in line <clears throat> with your shoulders, spreading the palms, feet a little bit further apart. And if there's any niggles in the lower back, any pinching in the lower back, any twinging sort of pain, just take the elbows a bit wider, making a triangle with the hands. But if it's that dull, aching sensation, then you're good to go. You're good to breathe into that space. Just remembering that that deep sort of aching sensation is usually a good aching sensation. It's an indication that you're, you can move through that, that you can move a bit deeper with the breath. You can soften and strengthen the muscles as you breathe. Find the spot to gaze at in front of you, just soften the shoulders. Allow the heart space to unfurl, open and surrender. And then we're gonna place one hand on top of the other, draw the chin down towards the hands. And we're gonna come into opposite arm, opposite leg raises, so breathing in. As you draw, opposite arm, opposite leg, and breathing out, chin down. Breathing in to prepare. Breathing as you lift. Moving in your own time with your own breath. Moving opposite arm, opposite leg. You're doing really well, guys. Lovely. Then we're going to take the pads of the fingers out in front of us, coming into our cobra waves. Elbows nice and wide. Draw the chin down towards the ground. Imagine you're on a paddleboard or surfboard. Take the weight into the pads of the fingers. We're going to draw the weight up through the spine and then back down. So imagining these baby waves 
as you come up and down, rippling through the spine. Lifting maybe the feet up as well. You can take the hands a little closer in towards you, a little wider, coming up a little bit more, being very mindful of the back and the spine. Only come up as far as feels good for you today. Lovely. Then imagining a nice big wave is coming up and you want to catch it, you want to come up and over it. So bring the feet in towards one another, bring the palms of the hands in towards the breastbone, draw those elbows in towards one another, push through the hands as you lift up and over. Shoulders away from the ears, slight bend in the elbows. Wonderful guys, draw the knees down. We're going to move into a child's pose, so drawing the weight all the way up and back. You can draw the toes together, knees wide and just surrender the heart space down, maybe making a triangle with the hands, forehead down, and just breathe. A couple more deep, nourishing breaths here. And when you're ready, coming back to all fours. Wonderful guys. So when you're ready, we're going to just move through the hips now. So I'd like you just to imagine your spine is like a snake and you're just going to swish the hips from side to side as you snake the body one side then the other. If there's any issues with the knees, you can take a rolled up blanket under the knees. If there's any issues with the wrists, make them fist with the wrists or coming down onto your forearms is just as beneficial in this posture. So just do what feels good for you today. And then we're going to open the heart space, bend the elbows slightly, right? take the shoulders away from you, open the heart space so your heart is smiling, your chest is smiling, you're smiling, breathing in, sticking the bottom out and as you breathe out, tuck the hips under, draw the chin towards the chest, curling now through the spine, drawing your abdominal muscles in towards the spine, and then you're going to breathe in, relax. Again, breathing out, sucking everything up and in, curling under, moving in your own time with your own breath, breathing in, breathing out. Lovely. This time, tucking the toes under, we're going to push up and back into a downward dog. So bring the feet nice and wide, hands nice and wide, spread the palms. Again, if there's any issues with the wrist, you can be down on your forearms in this position. And then we're just gonna bend one knee, then the other, walking the dog here. Wonderful guys, walking the feet now towards the hands, keep the feet hip distance apart. We're going to bend the knees, allow the body to rest over the thighs and just grab hold of opposite elbows, drop the head down. Release the hands. Coming up now, ragdolling your way, slowly vertebra by vertebra, curling through the spine, uncurling. As the shoulders come up and away from the ears, coming into Tadasana, mountain pose. So really think of your spreading your feet now. So really spread your toes, bring your little toes down towards the ground, bring up all the rest of your toes if that's possible. And then we're going to begin to lower the toes down one by one, with your big toes being the last ones to come down. So see if you can really create those frog feet. And then the sides of the feet are feeling nice and grounded. And you've got a slight lift in the arch of the foot. So if you think you're slightly flat footed as I am, you can always just stroke the arch of the foot with your finger. Sounds like an odd thing to do, but it just reminds the arch of your foot to stay slightly lifted. And then turn the palms down and open, shoulders away from the ears, back of the neck nice and long. And just move the weight around a little bit, forwards to the side, back to the other side. And then finding whatever you feel is your centre today. 
open or close the eyes here and just imagine those roots like the roots of a tree going down reconnecting with that rock in the core of the earth breathing in grounded earth energy breathe in and breathe out going to take the feet a little wider now keep the heels in slightly we're going to squish the arms crossing the arms in front of you as you breathe and take the arms up nice and wide and then breathing out wonderful nice deep breath in smiling to yourselves embracing your day your week ahead breathing out deep breath in Deep breath out. Lovely, guys. This time as you come in, you might want to come all the way up onto the tiptoes. Go for it. And breathe out. Nice. Breathing in. We'll do that one again. Stretch, wiggle the fingers as though you're on top of a mountain. Breathing in fresh air and breathe out. Yeah, lovely. Wiggling the shoulders here. <clears throat> We're going to place the hands onto the hips now and take the feet a little wider so that the sides of your feet are in line with the edges of your mat. So using that core energy, keep this area engaged. We're going to breathe in, open your heart space. And as you come forward, think of opening and breathing from the chest. So think of that hip joint just folding forward and your heart space stays open your chin can come forward. You can take a slight bend in the knees if you need to as you come all the way down. Wonderful, guys. When you're there, you can bring the hands down towards your feet, your legs, the ground. Slight bend in the elbows and look towards the space between your legs. Breathing there. When you're ready, slight bend in your knees, bring the hands back towards the hips, slowly coming up, be mindful of the spine. Take the shoulders away from the ears, wonderful guys. We're gonna do the same again, but we've got a few options here. And I'll just demonstrate. So you can come into these few options. You can either bring the hands together and fold forward. You can take hold of opposite elbows and come forward or you can come into a prayer position, bringing the palms of the hands together. If all of those feels too much, just bring the hands back onto the hips. So just take whatever option suits you, just do what feels good for you today, and then come forward once again, leading from the heart, folding forward. Breathing there. When you're ready, slight bend in the knees, release the hands, slowly coming up, back to standing, rotate the shoulders away from the ears. Wonderful guys, take hold of a glass of water, keep yourselves hydrated. Cheers. <laughs> and then come back to centre, lovely. So when you're ready, we're going to come into a few sun salutations. So coming towards the front of your mat. So we'll begin with just bringing the hands towards the lower hips or the lower back. So heels of the hands right in towards the lower back. Engage this area of your core as you jut the hips forward. So you're really using this. You're coming into your mini back bend, but from a supported position. Draw the elbows in towards one another. You don't have to bring the head all the way back you can just look up slightly and then come back to center lovely so with that same intention if that feels too much then just don't come back quite so far bring the hands together you can interlock the fingers first finger points forward charlie's angel style and you can take the arms in line with the ears as the hips come forward only as far as is comfortable any pinching of the back just bring it a little a little easier and then we're going to forward fold so engaging your tummy muscles but forward folding from your heart all the way down lovely bring the feet in towards one another bring the hands to shins nice flat back so you're carrying a tray of cups on your back 
and then lowering the hands down. We're going to step the right foot back, followed by the left into your plank position. So you've really ignited that core energy today. So look towards the space between the hands as you breathe. Slight bend in the elbows if you need to. <clears throat> Imagine you're carrying that tray of cups on your hips and on your back. And then we're going to lower the knees down. We're going to bend those elbows, draw the chin down into Chaturanga as you come up into up dog, low cobra or sphinx. If this is too much for your wrists, just come down into a sphinx posture. Breathing there, opening your heart space. And then come back onto all fours, tuck your toes under, into your downward dog. Taking three nourishing breaths here. I'm gonna bend one knee, then the other moving through the hips and then begin to walk, step or jump the feet towards the hands, bend at the knees and come up in your own time. Arms come wide and back to centre. Wonderful guys, we'll do that one more time in your own time, with your own breath. Arms come up and overhead, hips come forward as you breathe, forward folding down, the hands to shins, nice flat back, stepping left foot back this time, followed by the right into your plank. Slight bend in the elbows, lowering the knees down, tucking the elbows in, coming up into up dog, low cobra or sphinx. Lovely, and coming back into your downward dog. Breathing there, bending one knee then the other, walking, stepping or jumping, the feet towards the hands, bend the knees as you come all the way up. Wonderful guys, bring the arms wide, back to your heart space. Lovely, to come into our warriors now. So bring the feet hip distance apart. We're gonna step the right foot back. So remembering to keep the feet hip distance apart so that you're not on a tight rope, You've got a nice solid base, but you're just stepping back with that right foot. Now I like to keep on the ball of my back foot, but keep my back knee nice and bent, keep the front knee bent so that I'm feeling supported. And it helps just to support the lower back and spine as well. So you can take the arms up if you wish to, palms to face one another, really bend that back knee and just breathe. I am steady, I am strong. Lovely guys, turn that back heel down towards the mat. As you take the arms wide, we're gonna come into our warrior two now. So make sure you're not leaning forward over that hand. Make sure, it's almost as though someone's pulling that back hand away. And take the shoulders away from the ears. Looking out towards this wonderful future ahead of you. So you can look towards the back hand and just acknowledge how far you've come. And then bring your head back to look forward, but imagining where you are now, honouring this space today. This time you've created for yourself, honouring where you are right now. And when you're ready, we're going to raise the energy up, bring the hand towards the back leg, turn the top palm up and over the ear, lifting up, opening up into your reverse warrior, like a celebration of where you are right now, feeling gratitude, feeling positivity. Lovely guys, then we're going to draw the elbow to the knee, Slip the top arm up and over into your side stretch. Point those fingers out in front of you like you're darting an arrow. Wonderful, guys. Then we're going to turn the back heel, bring the hands either side of that front foot, step back into plank once again. Draw the knees down, bend those elbows, coming up into your up dog, low cobra or sphinx. Those elbows slightly bent to create a bit of space for the shoulders. 
and then either come onto all fours or just tuck the toes under back into your downward dog. Well done guys, breathing air. Bending one knee then the other, walking, stepping or jumping the feet back to the hands. Bending the knees, reverse one dive and come back to centre. When you're ready we'll do the same on the other side. So again, making sure the feet hip distance apart, we're going to step that left foot back, bend that left knee, take the arms up, palms to face one another. I am steady, I am strong. Turn the back heel into your warrior two. So try not to lean all your energy into that front foot, keep the weight into the outer edge of that back foot. Looking back behind you, acknowledge how far you've come. Looking over the front hand to your wonderful, adventurous summer ahead. And then just acknowledging, feeling a sense of gratitude for this moment in time. You've got this. Whatever life throws you, you've got this. You're gonna Embrace it with every bit of positivity. And then we're going to bring that back hand towards the back leg, turn the palm up and over the ear, raising the energy up and over into a reverse warrior. And then draw the elbow to the knee, take the top arm up and over into your side stretch. Wonderful, guys. Turn that back heel. Hands either side of that foot, step back into plank. I'm going to draw the knees down. I'm going to take the body down so the whole body resting on your belly. Make a triangle with your hands, bring the feet nice and wide and just rest the head to one side. Turning the head over to the other side. We'll come into our flapping fish posture when you're ready. So imagine you have a magnet on your left knee, your left elbow, and you're just going to rest onto one side. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Right elbow, right knee. And rest in there. And then when you're ready, we're going to turn onto our backs, releasing down. Coming on to your backs now, releasing, relaxing, we're going to take the shoulders away from the ears, bring the feet nice and wide. We'll come into a deep rotation of consciousness now, so just closing your eyes, allow the whole body and mind to simmer and settle. Allow my words to wash over you. I'm relaxing my toes. My toes are relaxing. My toes are completely relaxed. I'm relaxing my feet. My feet are relaxing. My feet are completely relaxed. Relaxing my ankles, my 
my shins, calves, my knees and thighs. Both of my legs are relaxing. Both of my legs are completely relaxed. I'm relaxing my pelvis, my hips and glutes. My pelvis is relaxing. My pelvis and hips are completely Relaxing my spine, my lower mid and upper back and spine are relaxing. The whole of my spine and my back is completely relaxed. Relaxing all my internal organs, my liver, spleen, kidneys, intestines, heart and lungs. All my internal organs are relaxing. All of my internal organs are completely relaxed. I'm relaxing my shoulders, shoulder blades, shoulder girdles. Both of my shoulders are completely relaxed. I'm relaxing my armpits, my upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists and hands, fingers and palms. Both of my arms are relaxing. Both of my arms are completely relaxed. Relaxing my neck and throat. My neck and my throat are relaxing. My neck and my throat is completely relaxed. I'm relaxing my facial muscles, my forehead, eyebrows, eyes, cheeks, nose, mouth, lips, teeth, tongue, jaw, back of the throat, the ears, the brain, back of the head, the skull, the whole of my head is relaxing, the whole of my head is completely relaxed. I'm relaxed. 
relaxing my whole body. My whole body is relaxing. My whole body is completely relaxed. just beginning to take a few deeper breaths in through the nose and softly sighing out through the mouth. Take a few golden thread breaths here. So breathing in through the nose. And as you breathe out, just a very gentle breath. So imagine there's a tiny little parting between the lips. And allow that breath to pour from the lips like a golden thread of breath. pushing the out breath, we're just allowing this out breath to pour effortlessly like a smooth thread of breath. just beginning to wriggle fingers and toes, taking the arms overhead now, lengthening and stretching through the body, maybe rotating wrists and ankles one direction and the other, lengthening and stretching now as you breathe in and as you breathe out begin to bend the knees, drawing the feet down towards the ground, maybe taking a little lift through the hips as you draw the lower back back down and hugging the knees in towards the chest. Just taking a few moments here. And taking the hands upon the knees and just rocking from side to side. Circling the knees, do whatever you wish to as a final stretch. And when you're ready, taking the weight over to one side and just resting here for a few moments. Keeping the eyes closed, turn the palms down towards the ground when you're ready, coming into a comfortable seated posture. Maybe first bring the thumb back together. Maybe backs of the hands tucked right in towards the hip. Maybe just resting the hands on the knees. Do whatever feels good for you as you close your eyes. Just 
noticing how you're feeling right now. Maybe bringing your attention back to that heart's intention you made at the start of the practice and imagine it bearing fruit now. Imagine that intention blossoming like a seed, turning into a beautiful lotus flower in your heart space. When you're ready, bring the palms of the hands to the heart center. We'll make the chant along just once to end the practice. So when you're ready, nice deep breath in. Oh. Rubbing the palms and placing them over the closed eyes, shoulders down. Open your eyes in darkness when you're ready. And just allow the hands to melt down away from the face, opening your eyes in your own time, bringing the hands to the head for the right thoughts, to the mouth for the right words, and to the heart for the right intentions. Namaste. Thank you guys.